Okay, saving on bubble wrap, recycling uh, shipping materials and uh, getting the item there safely. Bubble wrap envelope I received. I uh, already used some of it and then here's the remainder of it, what's left of it. I wrap my items in here. Here's a box, used to be a box. I cut the ends off, recycled the middle. Take my item, I put it in there. I can put these inside or outside, add some extra support. We'll put them inside for this time. Put the box in there, fold it in there, kind of push it in there, bang, we got rigid support both sides. Now here's what I find uh, works most times, I'm not using bubble wrap, of course you want to watch your weight because uh, weight matters when shipping an item. This is hilarious, let's call it reverse technology, reverse tape technology, watch it, bang, flip it over. Now I'm going to wrap it around the item. You want to try to make sure you get all ends. You cut it. Don't lose your spot in the tape. Here's where this can save. The item's tape sticky. Bang. The item's inside the box. It's sticking there. It's sitting there. It's in transit. Right? It stays there for a while. Eventually it'll fall off depending on the tape you use. But if the item gets dropped. Right? It's still going to hit the bottom. But there's a delay. It might not even hit. Right? Look, like I'm banging this thing. Bang. See how it slows it down. You know? It's getting stuck on everything. Depending on the temperature, some tapes work better and some tapes don't. But it's surely going to help save on shipping. Using bubble wrap is going to save you money. You're using the same tape you're going to use anyways. And uh, it's all recycled except for the tape. When the person gets to their house, they get their package. They just cut the tape off. Bang. Package is nice. Tape goes in the garbage. There's their package. All recycled materials. They throw it in their bin and they're on their way.